I'm so sorry guys. I had a phone call come in which completely cut out my last broadcast. Luckily I didn't get too far into it. Just my little camera thing here. So uh, I'll give everyone a quick second to hop back in here. Thumbs up, good to go. Oh man, I'm tired. I'm actually gonna take this thing off. There we go. All right, we're getting all situated. Russia, welcome, welcome. So we're gonna dive into this, guys. Um, I'm basically gonna restart. I was just doing a broadcast, which, oh, kicked my tripod. I know dryer's done. <laughs> uh, so I was just doing a broadcast and a phone call cut that out, so I'm gonna restart. My name is Charles Leslie, or Coach Chaz Fitness as I'm known as. I'm a full-time fitness and lifestyle coach with the company Beachbody, as well as a part-time massage therapist. And I'm up here once a day sharing a vlog, so just a video log of my own journey that I'm on. Um, I'm up here two or three times a day on top of that sharing tips on you know how you can be a better business person, how you can be better with your health, your motivation, all that kind of stuff. And I figure why not hop up here once a day and share about my own journey, what I'm going through, you know, how my workouts are going, nutrition, struggles, um, successes. I'm gonna clean up my lens. So I just wanna hop up here, you know, once or twice a day. Is it just me or is there like a weird lighting thing going on on that? Let me see if I can get a towel up on here. I do have a YouTube channel. It did make it worse. Uh, so look up youtube.com slash Coach Chaz Fitness. I'm gonna wipe you guys off real quick. Okay, it's adjusting, it's adjusting. That looks a little bit better. So, um, it is a little bit foggy, I'm not quite sure. Periscope has done that a few times. So, uh, kind of diving into it guys. So I've been, I came from being 50 pounds overweight and I was eating fast food about five or six, seven, sometimes seven days a week. I had a two hour commute each day to my first job for two years as a massage therapist. And during those two years, I put a bunch of weight on and I just got unhealthy and I was not feeling good about myself. I had a bunch of back pain, all this stuff going on. And so finally one day I really looked at myself in the mirror and I decided to take control of my life. And so I started with P90X, which is how I got into the Beachbody world. So fast forward, uh, at my leanest, I lost, just finished a mile run. Dubai, nice, welcome. So at my leanest, I lost 50 pounds using P90X Insanity. Um, I did not feel good at that weight though. I did not feel good at 175. I sure I looked good in the mirror. I had you know a six pack coming out and that kind of stuff, but it wasn't worth it to me. I felt like garbage um, for my body type. You know, I got broader shoulders. I'm a little bigger uh, guy, so I like to get into the strength realm. Is what I did. So I started with Body Beast then, and I popped up to like 205, 210. So what should I do? 100 kilograms, 180 centimeters. Um, there's all kinds of options. If you want to chat one on one, I can give you give you a few options. Um, so again, just reach out to me, Facebook.com/slash/BetterLife90. You can find my information on my uh, on my actual Periscope channel. So I did Body Beast. You know, I gained I gained a bunch of muscle, but I also put on a lot of body fat. So I put on about 20 pounds of muscle tissue, and then I actually put on probably another 10 pounds of body fat to go with that. And I kind of maintained that and. I'm in good shape, but I'm not in great shape. And that's my goal right now, where I'm at now. So all of the past experiences have led up to where I'm at now. So the intensity of my workouts, the consistency with my nutrition, all of that stuff, I'm going more intense than I ever have on a program. And I've been doing these programs for six years now. So again, I'm in good shape. I'm well-rounded, I have some strength, I have some endurance, I have a, you know, a little bit of everything, but I want to be in peak condition. I know for me, I can stand to lose about 15 pounds of body fat. Tip on how to keep up with working out early on, I lack the consistency. Um, I'll get to Q and A's afterwards. This isn't gonna be kind of a Q and A session here. Um, I do other um, periscopes at each day where I can do Q and A stuff. So these vlogs, I'm basically just gonna get up here and share a little bit about, you know, kind of what I'm going through. So fast forward, you know, all that stuff I've been through in the past has led up to where I'm at now, right? So I started Body Beast on Monday because I had Spartan Race on Saturday, which that was 
incredibly hard. <laughs> Spartan Race kicked the crap out of me this year. So, uh, you know, I took Sunday off because I couldn't physically move. I just, all of us were wiped out. We had a team of nine do it. And then Monday, I was still really sore, so I went really light on day one. And Body Beast is a weightlifting based program here at home, so I actually get to stream it from my computer um, using our Beachbody on demand system. So it's like streaming um, almost like Netflix but it's just the workout. So you can stream P90X, Insanity, all those programs. So I'm doing the Body Beast one. So you have a typical bodybuilding split. You do chest and tri. Uh, this is for phase one, there's three different phases. So phase one is uh, chest and tri, legs, back and by. Then you do shoulders, which was today, so I'm on day four. I just finished up my shoulder workout. Tomorrow's cardio, and then, see tomorrow would be Friday, yeah. <laughs> Get lost on what day it is. <laughs> this is what we call when you work at home for yourself, you lose track of what day it is. Um, so Saturday's rest day, and then Sunday's gonna repeat chest and try again. So you do that for three weeks, and then you move into a different split for phase two. So that's the basic split, and I'm not hybriding. I'm not. What I what I've done in the past is I would take a program and I would be like, okay, I'm gonna make it better. I'm gonna add this and take this out and blah 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 blah, and I would yo-yo. My, my workout program is like crazy. And so this round, I just said, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm going 100% all in. I'm following the exact schedule and I'm using the Beachbody performance line, which is you'll see me sipping on these post-workout. So there's a pre-workout drink to get you, you know, ready to go. Taking creatine, which is the first time I've messed around with creatine in years. And I can tell you what guys, I'm only on day four and I can already feel the effects of the creatine. I'm switching my legs because I'm cramping. So that's kind of where I'm at using the supplement line. We have a recovery drink. We have a nighttime formula for, for soreness and recovery. And uh, we have a hydration, kind of like a healthy Gatorade during workout. So that's the supplement stack I'm using paired with my, my daily Shakeology is another one I use. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at as far as uh, why, you know, where I'm at is starting. So workout wise, doing Body Beast, started, started Monday, I'm on day four. Um, nutrition, I'm following low carb. Um, I'm keeping my calories up, so I'm eating tons of fat and protein right now. So I'm doing low carb for about 10 days. And that is to maximize insulin sensitivity. Because I am, a, uh, my body loves to hold on to water. Like, holy crap, if I eat, you know, if I eat just the smallest amount of carbs, my body soaks that stuff up and starts retain, retaining water like crazy. Um, prime example, I'm only on day four, right? And I'm down five pounds. That's not five pounds of body fat. That's you know, that's just based on what the scale shows. But I know it's water because I can already see the the lines coming back out, which I didn't even have four days ago because when you hold on to water, it makes you look puffy and soft. Um, and I've kind of had that issue for the last year, and so that's why this round, I'm currently at about. Two, what I weigh in at? About 203 this morning. I started on Monday at 208. So I'm down five pounds. Um, I don't really, I'm checking the weight just to kind of see how my body is reacting to the, the water and stuff. Um, so, where was I going with that? Oh, I don't really care about what the scale shows because the scale measures your whole body, right? Water, um, you know, sodium affects your water, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not going so much by the scale, um, go more by body fat percentage, how you look in the mirror, how your clothes fit, and how you feel, right? So those are kind of the big, the big markers I'm judging myself on in progress. So I'm taking a very slow approach. I don't, I'm not looking to get a six pack within 30 days. I'm not looking to do it in 60 days. Um, even at the end of this program, which is 90 days, I don't expect to be in like that peak condition I have, I have visualized. It's gonna take more time, but as long as I keep pushing the, pushing the barrier, I'm going to achieve it eventually. Um, so my goal right now, my biggest one with body fat percentage because I'm, I'm trying to cut down because I actually have a big goal. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. American Ninja Warrior tryouts are coming to Portland 2016. I think I might be interested in that, so we'll see. But I'm gonna have to drop weight because um, I'm gonna have to increase my grip strength it is a uh, you, the best athletes for that course are always the ones who are lean. They have muscle on them, but they're lean. You know, 160, 180 pounds. 180 is even on the heavy side for that course. 
Um, so I'm gonna have to push it towards that 180 side. So I'm gonna be really happy if I can trim down my body fat percentage to start with. Um, I'm at about 17-ish percent body fat right now. My ultimate goal is to get down to the 10 to 12 range just because I've never been there. I dabbled into like 13, 14% when I cut down to 175, but again, I did not feel good at that at that uh, weight, and I think it was because I did it the wrong way. I was doing a lot of intense cardio, minimal weight training, and I was doing all low calorie, low carbon. That's not the way to do a long-term cut. So with uh, with where I'm at now, I mean, that kind of, that kind of, uh, sums it up for this first vlog. I'm gonna to try to get up here once a day, whether it be post-workout, maybe I'll be in the kitchen making one of my meals, maybe I'm just inspired by something that happened that day. I'm gonna get up here once a day and just share a vlog. And I'm gonna post these onto my YouTube channel so you guys can see my journey throughout the whole 90 days. Because if you have not followed me for a while, I actually started doing YouTube videos back when I first started six years ago. I was 225 pounds, extremely unhappy and unhealthy with where I was at. And so what I did was um, I did P90X in my living room and I recorded myself for 90 days. And you guys can see my first, you know, my, uh, my first weight. Another phone call came in, my bad. So uh, anyways, you guys can go back and look at my old YouTube channel, Coach Chaz Fitness. And the second one is gonna be Better Life 90. Um, two channels, Coach Chaz Fitness is the newer one. So my older videos are on the uh, Better Life 90. So I, I went through that process of recording myself, putting it up on YouTube, and it was, it's really cool now to be able to go back and see where I came from because being six years, it's sometimes easy to forget, it's easy to forget where I came from. I can look at myself in the mirror now and think, oh, I need, to lose I need to lose chest fat, I still have love handles right here, I need to lose this and this and this, blah, 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 and beat myself up a little bit, but then I look back at those old videos and go, wow, that's where I came from, okay, okay. I guess I'm in a better spot now. Um, but keep pushing that barrier, right? So that's where I've come from. Uh, my goals, pretty much just getting the best shape I've ever been in. And I want to take an updated after photo because I have my before photos and I have smaller after photos after that, but I've never taken like the legit big after photo. And that's kind of what I'm going for for this round. So at day 90, um, you guys, I'm putting all these on videos. I want to do one video a day and I'm going to do them on Periscope so I can interact with you guys if you have comments throughout the vlog. And then I'm going to upload them to my YouTube channel at Coach Chaz Fitness. That way I can put them in a big playlist and anyone who goes through and wants to follow along with where I started right now, this is my beginning. So at the end of these 90 days, people can come back and see that little progress that I had. You guys can see the workouts I've been doing. You can see what I've been eating. You can see how I've been thinking. You can see all this stuff. And uh, videos are a really powerful way to be able to do that because if you just go on your journey by yourself, you never take videos, you never take pictures, you're gonna be at that spot where if you're unhappy with where you're at, you're gonna forget how far you came. I think that's a big aspect to always remember that. You know, That's something that, that helps motivate you is if you can look back and think, I never wanna go back to that place again, that pushes me to keep going forward because the second I decide to quit, I'm gonna start slipping back to my old habits and who and what I used to be. And that's not something I want to, to do. So by looking at these vlogs, I'm gonna be able to see little changes in myself throughout the next 90 days. So if you guys wanna follow these, I'll be on Periscope once a day sharing this. I also share business tips, nutrition tips, all that kind of stuff. So I'm on Periscope usually two, three, sometimes four times a day. Uh, so you can just swipe, follow. Um, I appreciate if you guys heart bomb these videos. Uh, it gets our channel ranked up there and it allows us to get our message out there and keep building this awesome, awesome fitness community that we have going on here. This has been Coach Chaz. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.